Hello and welcome to a video where I want to show you and talk about the parabola. So this video has been requested uh, from many of you because you want to know how to calculate a parabola. And um, yeah, we will uh, calculate this parabola and move some objects um, on this parabola. So we start with a simple cube, we create the cube and we will set its position to zero, zero, zero. So this cube we will uh, move among the parabola. So we will create a script called um, box jump because basically that's what the box will do. It will jump, it will look like a jump. Um, so let's edit this. And I've already um, imported two files. These files are in the video description, so you can download them as well and just put it anywhere in the asset folder. Uh, the first one is Mass Parabola. It's a simple parabola calculator and a parabola controller, which is a money behavior, which means you can put it on any object. Um, but la let's start with a simple one, the Mass Parabola. So this is a very basic script and basic approach to do it. So we create a variable called um, animation. And this animation we will um, use to measure the time. So basically it starts at zero and we will add the time span. So we'll, it will add up as the time goes by. So, and uh, we want to loop this animation so we will take the animation and reset it to zero as soon as it hits a value of five. So to be correct, we will use a float sign. Yeah. And uh, this means it will generally count up to five, so five seconds, and then it goes back to zero and then the whole thing starts again. So we will um, then influence the transform we will change the position of the transform so and therefore we will use the mass parabola and um, as a start we use the vectors v0 and as a end we will use the vectors v forward so the forward is a variable a constant um, with the value 0 0 1 which means we will move one unit forward if we multiply it by 10 we will use uh, we will move 10 units forward. So as a height, I will set a value of five. So it will fly um, five units high. And the time variable um, interpolates between the start and the end. And this means it's basically between zero and one. And we will take the animation divided by five. And this value will um, be between zero and one and then go back to zero. And of course we have to set the position. Let's start. Let's see um, how this is working. So I switch back to the scene view and as you can see the whole box is moving in a parabola. So this is one way to move the box among a parabola and uh, this is a very good technique for texts and for some objects there are, they shouldn't be influenced by physics, for example. And if you really want to know where the object um, is starting and where the target of the object is, because you can control it um, as you like. So this is working for two points and the parabola um, is going straight up. But if you have want to have more fancy things like a parabola that goes down or a little bit left or a little bit right, we need an advanced technique. So I will stop that here and we will have a look at the more advanced technique. So um, as I said, it's a money behavior, which means we can edit. It's a parabola controller. So this is a second script you just um, entered in your, uh, just copied in your project. We will create an empty called parabola root, which holds all the points the parabola will follow. And basically um, as a, like so as a basic parabola, we need three points. So 
the first one is the start point, the second one is uh, the highest point in the parabola, and the third one is the end point. And we will um, call that punct. So, and then we will have to set them in order to create a parabola. Now they are all in the same position, we will set them to zero. I will take the last one and I will create the same parabola as we did in the script. So 0, 0, 10 and uh, we will use 0, 5, 5. And now we have the same points we just use for the simple par parabola. So now we have to set this parabola root in our mono behavior. As you can see, there's already um, yeah, there's already a property for it. And now you can see in the editor the gizmo um, in red. So I will comment this out because we will need a little bit of code for this. That's a little bit different. So um, if you leave out of start and animation as it is, you already can see it's moving among the parabola and it's a little bit better than the simple approach because the speed is really constant. Yeah, if you have a very high parabola, the, the other one is very fast uh, at the beginning and at the top it's, it's, it's not so fast and then it goes fast down again. And here it's, it's really the speed is constant. So. So now you can see it's possible also to drag these points around and to have a parabola that's more complex. Uh, when you remember with the old approach, you can just set the height. Maybe that's enough. This is simple. The script is simple. But if you want to have something like that, where you want to make sure that these three points are always passed by the object, then this parabola controller is more advanced. So, and I used it for a tennis game, you can see here. Um, if you want to make sure you have a fence here or something or a net, um, then you um, can make sure that the ball is going over the fence. So let's make it um, straight, yeah. And if you have a tennis net here, the ball goes over the point and I know exactly where the ball is landing and this is essential just um, for the computer or the KI to um, just know where the ball is landing. And this is what I used there. So we can use script as well. So if you um, deactivate auto start and deactivate um, all the flex on the parabola controller, it won't start. So the object still sits on the position and uh, we can add in our script some um, statements like input, get mouse button down, and uh, then we get the component, which is a parabola controller, and we have a method called follow parabola. And as soon as we call this method, the object starts to follow the parabola and then stops at the end. So as you can see on the bottom right, auto start and animation were not checked. And as soon as we click, the animation flag um, is set and the object is following the parabola. Um, yeah, that's basically it. You can play a little bit around with these, this simple approach and this more complex approach. You can see it's a little bit more code. Um, it's a little bit more complex. And yeah, have fun. <laughs>